for all that rigmarole. He's like, no, I want to come up today and get it. And it was just, it was just a weird. He wanted to come today and get it. Yeah. So he didn't he, understand the process at all. Well, obviously, yeah. So he he knows nothing about the NFA process. Right. Yeah. No. Okay, it was just I, a weird call. You know, I get those, yeah. and it's like it throws you off, kind of like. Yeah, yeah. You're wondering if it's like somebody fucking with you or like. All right. Well, and and you sent me a text saying, you know, thirty cal cans work on six five, and I was like, well, yeah, thirty cal is yeah. Six, and I just like I had to like double check myself because right. that call fucked me up so Which bad. Is, like, I mean, I'm I you know I'm always here to answer questions yeah, yeah. Uh, on shit you don't know about, but right. you knew that one. Yeah, I did. I just I had to like reassure myself after that. right because it was so crazy and just so so fucking like. Like when I first started working there, right? I had a I had a guy call and he's like, "You guys sell suppressors?" "Yes, sir." "You know that makes it quieter to kill people, right?" "Oh like, goodness." "Go." He's like, "Why why are Go. you selling assassin tools?" And like I'm like, "What the fuck? Like this is this isn't real, right?" But it was and it was like, "You should have said, dude, I'm not selling ninja kits here." "No." And well, what happened was like, "Go." The uh the boss's boss mm-hmm. <laughs> actually, like, could hear the conversation, and she's like, give me the phone. Yeah. And I had only been there, like, this was, like, my third day of, like, my internship. Like, I wasn't even getting paid at this point. Are you getting paid now? No. Eh, I spend a lot in the gun shop, so. <laughs> so, no. 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 I don't make any money. Um, But, yeah, so, like, she took the phone, and she, like, went off, like, not went off, but she, like, explained it to him to the point where after the phone call, he's like, oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, and it was just like, it only I, takes... I get those phone calls all the time. And so it's like, the one today was just like, this can't be fucking real. Like, right. Am I in the Twilight Zone? Like, that's why I text you, dude. Like, 30 cans, 30 cal cans can take 6.5, right? Like, I'm not fucking dumb. Oh, yeah. No, no, you're right. not dumb. I mean, well, you are dumb, but on that point, you were not being dumb. It's, <laughs> right. It's just such an odd thing. Like, yeah, like you said, it, it can't be real. Um, exactly it's like my boss had some bo- no. like one of his friends call me and just to see what I have like if I would cuss them out or something like that you know it's like it was like a secret shopper kind of call that's all I can that's all I can put it up to yeah yeah now I mean it's fucking weird there are dedicated if you're listening podcasts. you're fucking weird yeah you fucking weirdo fucking weirdo stop it don't call me again oh guess what I'm doing next week you calling me <laughs> I hate you. Everybody hates you, man. Get used to it. I said I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> You're fucking dumb. <laughs> no, I'm an asshole. Anyway. <laughs> so, now, I, I understand there are dedicated 6.5 cans. Yes, there are. From everybody I've talked to in the industry that knows more about cans than we'll ever understand, like, we're not going to fucking start cutting them apart and producing them. And you know what I mean? I mean... A 30 cal can is absolutely, completely sufficient. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Um, yes. So, like, my can is the Rebel SOS Hunter, which is a 30 cal can. Yeah. They also make the SOS Creed, yeah. which is a 6.5 can. And, and that's exactly what I did, too. Like, yeah. As soon as I got off the phone, before I text you, I went to Rebel yeah, yeah, yeah. Suppressor's website, yeah. look up the SOS Hunter. Yeah, it's one less baffle. And so, it said like, three hundred or three hundred eight, three hundred wind mag, yeah. and three three or something else. I can't remember. And I'm like, fuck, am I wrong? Like, yeah, because I, we shot six five through this. Like, I yeah, know we, we shot the six five through this. And then that's when I text you. I'm like, this guy fucked me up so bad that I went to a website. Yeah, didn't get the answer I was looking for. But think about it. Like, how well did that six five? Oh, it was. Amazing, dude! Like, like so, uh, amazing. Like, it's obvious you cannot sufficiently suppress a supersonic round. Period. It, it it's gonna break the the sound barrier. It's going to have a giant crack. But you know, re- reducing the muzzle blast and making it—I don't know—we didn't have a decibel meter, but making it to our ears hearing safe was quite impressive and this is a 30 cal can um which 65 to 762 i mean not that big of a difference 
but it's all about sound. And that one can does so many things so well that it's hard to argue with it. I granted it's my first can, I'm a bit partial. It's but there's there's still like some we got to know how it holds up. Oh, it's going it, to it it has I, I, to fall apart. It it has to. It's aluminum. It's it's not going to make it through but 20, is it, thousand rounds. You don't think so? Mm, you don't I may just be the pessimist. I mean, because like my my hybrid, yeah. I know without a doubt, I can't shoot that can out in my lifetime. Yes, but you also don't shoot rimfire through it. Don't shoot rimfire through your fucking. Why? Fuck it. It's a tool. What did I say? I threw that new thing that I haven't even touched in the dirt. Understandable, but fuck it. Wear it out. It's something you're. It's what I'm. You've uh, waited. You're gonna wait nine months for it, and then you're gonna fucking shoot it out with rimfire in the first fucking month. Yeah. That's dumb. Dude, we've already put almost two thousand rounds of rimfire through it. We smoked that bastard. And then we put, uh, what, maybe 200 of 223 through I it? I also ran it through my sonic cleaner before we took it back. So I cleaned the fuck. How many cycles did I tell you it took? Eight. Eight, and it's still not clean. Like, that I'm was okay just, with that. That was just as clean as I could get it, dude. Eight, eight cycles. Eight fucking eight-minute cycles. Yeah. Through the sonic cleaner. <laughs> And that bitch is still... It's grimy. Dirty? Actually, I haven't even looked at it, but... No, it's... I mean... It's like a French hooker, man. It's gross. It wears too much perfume and lipstick? It's just gross. That was polite, right? It's That'd just gross. <laughs> Fre- I, I don't know. Like, I'd go more with like a, a trailer park hooker. Yeah. See? See? Yeah. Got the groan. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like I, I just don't care enough like I I know you don't and that kind of disturbs me sometimes dude I buy shit to break it <laughs> I stay I stay awake at night and I'm like how the fuck can Mark like just spend money to and, ruin shit and just break everything like why do you think I buy so much Tannerite break my shit even like <laughs> he doesn't even care if it's his That's... he just fucking breaks it yeah let's see and you call me a horrible human being i mean you really are but we're not going to go into that i'm on just the saying air. i mean it's okay to be an awful person i, I have no I, <laughs> yeah i test shit yeah I, I, I spend my very hard-earned dollars to break shit to break shit no. because it's entertaining it's a good thing you don't like do like uh off road or like race cars. I used to. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Guess what? I broke a lot of shit. <laughs> You'd be broke as fuck, dude. Why do you think I haven't ridden my motorcycle in what like eight weeks? It's broke. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> well, okay. The way I ride. Yeah, I know. I've seen you ride. <laughs> you passed me on at double like, yellows at- on blind corners. At like 130 miles an hour. I've seen you ride your bike. You might be a bit low, but... <laughs> <laughs> but... Safety is a concern. I Oh, I safety is not... a concern. <laughs> We're gonna go there? My tires are a bit dry. They're, they're, they're a bit low. Safety is a concern. Yes. I'm not gonna do anything oh, to a gun that is gonna I, be... We, we literally have dead man's corners. Like, yeah. Dead man... Yes. And S curves and like, and I pass you on double yellows, dragging a knee. Yeah, I saw it. I was there. I seen it. But I'm, I'm like, at it. oh my god, he's gonna die! Right. <laughs> like, oh, he's, he's good. Not, buddy. He's good. I beat you home by 20 minutes. It's a 20 minute oh, yeah. drive. <laughs> I'm I'm sitting in my fucking hauling a trailer with water in it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It took about that long too. We should ride then, Sean says. Oh, let's do it, Sean. All right. <laughs> you don't. So, uh, this is totally off topic, but who, who the right? fuck cares? I don't anyway, care at this point. So, a lot of people want to go ride with me until they until ride they with me. Ride. It's like that, that meme. Everybody wants to do hood shit until it's time to do hood shit. 
I am totally that. Like I know my uh, my brother in law that passed uh, last year. Harley guy, which is fine. I I don't have anything against you. It's just not my style. And I'm guessing at least somebody we, that listens to us rides a Harley. Anyway, pulled out the road. We were going uh, we were going to the border. So we took a ride onto two thirteen. <laughs> yeah. And you know those first like four turns. Yep. Yep. I stopped to. I think I was buckling my helmet. I just pulled over, buckled my helmet. He was gone, like, at least 45 seconds ahead. I passed him, dragging knees. <laughs> By the time we got to Farmington, he's like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, what? He's like, dude, how do you turn like that? I was like, that's how you ride a motorcycle. Right. He's like, no, what the, are you fucking stupid? Yeah. I was like, gross, fucking give your balls a tuck, Tim <laughs> I was like, man, right. why have it if you're not going to run it? Yeah. Same thing with this shit. Throw it in the dirt. Fill it with mud. I don't give a shit. I can clean it off. Work it. Yeah. No, I'm with you there. I, I don't know. Like, we're a different kind of awful. Uh, I mean, there's... Oh, shit. You got a Buell? Oh, damn. Any Yamaha? I... Okay, Buell is the only Harley I'll ride, Sean. Good for Buell you. Buell is... A, isn't Buell, like, its own? It's owned by Harley. Oh, um, <laughs> but I mean the V Star, it, it's cool. It's you. It's not me. Oh, what? I like to go fast. I know. Remember I'm, that? Like, uh, I I want to go fast, Ricky Bobby. Hey, remember when we were playing with those Hot Wheels cars? Yeah, who's retarded now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dress for the slide, you're goddamn right. Do you wear knee pads? Um, or I do. I have or riding pants. Uh, sometimes, not always, but I'm always wearing denim. I'm always wearing boots. Like, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that, that is one thing I'll give you. You're suited up. Oh, dude. Yeah, you've seen my gear. Yeah, like, yeah. I you'll never see me without a helmet. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. Um, <laughs> but. Honestly, the way I ride, if I crash, I'm dead. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I accept yeah. that. Like, I'm not walking away from that shit. Unless unless I slide out on a corner and, yeah. you know, my bike scoots away and jumps a fucking hill, I might survive that. But right. if I'm head on, if I'm from behind me, I'm dead. Yeah. I mean, I accept that. I I might stop riding because of that. Yeah. Um. Holy shit, Sean. All right. Sean, tell us more about this Buell that uh, won the most horsepower in... Farming. Yeah. In, oh, F-Town. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Never mind. Um, I mean, it's not all about horsepower. It's it's about the guy running the horsepower. Why the fuck are we on a car show now? We're not. We're on a motorcycle show. But Anyway, but... I don't care. Yeah, no. Like, I'd love to buy that... Um, what is it? The Kawasaki H two R, thousand cc motor, supercharged. Does two hundred ninety nine kilometers out of the box. Kilometers? We're doing kilometers now. KPH. So that equates to what? Two. Uh, about two hundred miles an hour. Um. Where's the? Masada. I I even love the name, like. How is uh, Masada Ubnod on that? Like, Masada Ubnod? He should have been part of that, right? Noob, noob. Noob, noob. Noob, noob. So, what, what, is your, uh, what is your thoughts on the um, on the Swamp Fox? Just looking at it. I probably bought the wrong reticle. So, I actually dig the reticle, bro. Do you like it? I do. Do you think we can show that? Let's see. Uh, without pointing it at our faces? Well, I don't care about your fucking face. Oh, oh there I it is. I saw it. Yeah. Uh, Tilt it down. There it is. Yep. Down. There. Oh, oh. Yeah. So, it's got this, like, weird crosshair dot, and it's hard to see on the, the camera. But there's a dot inside the inside, crosshair. So, it's not a full circle crosshair red dot. No, it's not like the EOTex. It's no. not like the, um, um uh, yeah. But for me, like running red dots, it's super easy to pick up. 